It's a daytime but no solar output at all as you can see. In today's video, I will describe one of the common problems that I faced with my solar inverters and that is the fault within the MPPT cards or in particularly the IGBTs as it is in this case. Uh, in my observation, it is a very common problem in almost 50% uh, of the cases. Although uh, there can be many other th things that can attribute to cause uh, such faults, but if the solar system is properly installed with all the safety measures in place, uh, the chances are very low for all other cases like overloads or all, all many other things that can cause faults. And uh, mostly it is the MPPTs that get faulty. The top reason for a faulty MPPT card is uh, in my opinion is of cloudy weather when solar output is very low while the electricity demand kept high putting some extra strain on the MPPT card uh, with the high current flow through the IGPTs that cause them to malfunction as it is the case over here. Uh, long story short I'm not going into the details like disassembly or describing or testing each section or components over here at, as, it, we, as it, it will get very lengthy but an inverter with the faulty MPPT card may show uh, fault 09, fault 52 or 53 or no fault code at all as it is the case here where it behaves uh, in a way that there is no solar input at all uh, like it is at the night time. But the solar wire wires show very high amperage and both uh, in a way that, uh, that both solar input terminals are short circuited uh, it, as it is the case over here. We remove the bus wires as I am doing now. These are the bus wires and this is also another connection wire. This is uh, also uh, another control wire and this is a 20 volt wire and this is a control wire from the Voltronic base card and <coughs> another wire to the relay. So remember all these connections and uh, and all the wires and connections should be exactly as they are. This is a Voltronic control card. Now this is a temperature sensor and this is the inductor coil. So simply remove this MPPT card now and thoroughly inspect all the connections and SMD resistors. This is the top view and you need to test most of, uh, most of the other components as well and also inspect the data sheet but in many cases there is the IGPTs that are faulty and I have done a thorough inspection. Now this is the uh, inverter section uh, IGPTs as you can see uh, they are all in perfect position and nothing is burnt and everything looks perfectly all right. So after the visual inspection I can verify that uh, there is nothing wrong with the uh, other components and everything else is perfectly fine and it is only the IGPTs of the MPPT card that need to be replaced or corrected and there's no other signs of burning. So let's come to the MPPT card over here. If I inspect over them, this is the solar input wires that show short circuit uh, co uh, connections. Maybe this is the uh, PF capacitor that can be faulty but I have checked it is not maybe the shunt it is also shunt resistance is was okay and and all the way things goes to the IGPTs this is these are IGPTs the middle one that is was a faulty at the left side there is a dual rectifier as you can see uh, it, it should also be correct and I found that it is it was okay from the back side I have inspected all the other uh, SMD resistors from their data set values and everything looks perfectly fine and not, no other sign of burning other than this IGPT. Maybe this chopper, chopper was faulty but it was also correct and it was not faulty and it was okay and maybe this IGPT or this IGPT. I... Now let's test the IGPTs with the multimeter. Put one probe on the gate and other on the source or drain. They should be isolated but as you can see they are connected and it shows that gate is shorted with both the drain as well as the source. So it means this IGPT is faulty and now inspect the second IGPT. Put one probe on the gate and it show open level and also on the drain it also show open levels means the gate is isolated means this IGPT is okay. Uh, now both IGPTs are in a parallel. You can see that uh, the, both the collector, uh, collector and emitters are connected in parallel. Means the, both show uh, uh, signs of shortness. That, that's why because they are working in parallel. 
<coughs> so uh, you need to remove both since markets were closed and i was unable to find the amp crap uh, PCB card of an inverter air conditioner and it has an IGPT as you can see uh, I have checked its, its data sheet it was placed over here so I have checked and verified that it can uh, although it was not compatible with it uh, fully compatible but still can serve the purpose I have simply removed this IGPT and all other components except one IC was faulty so this faulty PCB may fit fulfill my purpose and now of the IGPT now putting everything in place as I'm doing now putting the solar wires also the bus wires positive and negative should be correctly placed at their points and other pins also should be placed as I'm doing it now this is a positive wire this is a negative wire and let's connect them and also this 20 volt uh, wire and also this 20 volt wire should be placed as it is this is a control wire put it at its, at its place and the, and you sh need not to mess everything now let's verify all the connections and all the pins and everything should be okay and and it is also taking and uh, as per the clamp on meter you can see it is taking 6 amperes and in the past it was taking uh, more than 20 ampere but there was no solar signal means there was completely shorted and currently i am running in sol mode not the sbu mode so let's see uh, other the parameters if i see the input line it is taking around 3 amps while at the output line if I see it is actually taking 7 amps means uh, since it is very cloudy over there so uh, it's very much okay so I have removed the fault for temporarily I'm not uh, putting a lot of load on this inverter but still uh, uh, the fix has been done and it is running correctly and also charging my batteries so that's all 